हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज विंडो 11 और लिनक्स व्हिच यू शुड इंस्टॉल तो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So basically in today's video I'll compare Windows 11 with Linux distribution or you can say Linux operating system and then at the end we will decide that which one is better than the other one I will use some common points for both type of operating system so that it can be easier for us to decide which one is better So first of all let's talk about the Windows 11. Well as we all know Windows 11 is not an open source operating system. It means the code of Windows 11 is only available to the Microsoft and it also means that Microsoft is the authority to take any decision regarding the support or you can say regarding anything related to this particular operating system and user cannot do anything about it. so it means we have to rely on microsoft related to any update and related to any new thing or you can say related to the support of anything and that is not the case with linux distributions now if we talk about the gaming experience or you can say the gaming support well in windows 11 we have the support available of xbox what you can do with the help of that you can download and install and you can play different kind of game on windows 11 and not only that you can download steam into your windows 11 operating system and you can play different lot of games into your operating system and not only that you can download and install different applications from different website or you can say from the official websites of different games and what you can do you can start playing them on to your windows 11 operating system that is not the case with linux distributions we will talk about it when we will move towards the linux distribution now let's talk about the third point and that is free operating system well if we talk about the windows 11 itself we can download and we can use it for free from the official website as you can see here this is the official website of microsoft and from here we can download and install windows 11 for our system and we have different options available as you can see we can create installation media or we can download the iso file as well and here we have the installation assistant so that's a really good thing that we can download and install windows 11 for free number 4 free apps well if you go to your start menu here we have different applications which are pre installed and that are microsoft edge which is by default the web browser in windows 11 and it is the official web browser from microsoft and i'm using that one as well at the moment other than that we have different applications like calendar we have calculator and then we have some small games as well but good news is we have microsoft store so what we can do we can download and install different kind of applications and different kind of software for free from this microsoft store Yes there are some available which are paid one as you can see here these are the free ones so what you can do you can just download and you can install them into your system and you can use them free of cost and that's a really good thing i will just close this one number 5 compatibility with the older computer well there is one problem with windows 11 and that is when windows 11 was announced microsoft said that windows 11 will only be available for those system having tpm 2.0 it means all system having tpm 1.2 will not be able to download or you can say will not be able to install and use the windows 11 into their system and that was a really big problem because majority of the windows users have computer not having tpm 2.0 and that caused a lot of problem for a lot of user as you can see here we have tpm 1.2 available into our system at the moment but we are still using the windows 11 and you might be wondering that how we have done that well for that we have a video on to our channel so head to our channel and watch the videos that how you can install windows 11 with tpm 1.2 number 6 support for malware and viruses well we have microsoft defender available into our windows 
and that's a really powerful tool yes there were some problems with windows operating system earlier that it was not as much sophisticated and as much not powerful against the malwares and viruses but microsoft has worked a lot in this matter and now we have a lot more sophisticated tool against the malwares and viruses well it all started with the update of windows 10 21 h1 and after that a lot of things got improved and same went for windows 11 and now we have a lot more powerful tool but if we compare it against the linux distribution that is not the case because linux distributions are more powerful against the viruses and against the malwares because 73 percent of the market is covered by windows operating system and because of that a lot of malware authors and a lot of malware developers target this huge market and because of that windows get more threats or you can say more attacks on its operating system so in terms of viruses and malwares i would say that linux distributions are more powerful number seven stability well windows 10 was announced in 2015 and microsoft said that it will support windows 10 till the 2025 so we can see that windows operating system is a lot more stable same goes for windows 11 it just got announced and we are expecting it to stay here for a lot longer than we might think number eight usability well this is my last point in terms of windows 11 and that is a really important one as you can see here the interface of windows 11 is a really good one and a really easy to understand one as you can see here all the applications or you can say all the icons of all the applications are docked at the center bottom of our screen and we can access everything from here and we have different widgets or you can say we have different icons at the right bottom of our screen so what you can do you can access everything from here if i open my files here you can see here we have a really good icon and a really foreground and background contrast onto our files manager or you can say onto this application and that is really pleasing to the eyes and it helps user to keep its focus on the screen and along with that as we are talking about the usability everything is self-explanatory as you can see here we have different categories and it says desktop if i click on it it will take us to the desktop so it means windows 11 is a really good one in terms of usability so if you are a new one who doesn't have used any operating system before windows 11 might be the one for you because it's a really easy to use and really easy to understand and that was all about the windows 11 and now let's move towards the linux distribution and for linux distribution i'll be using zorin os 16 so let's jump to that well this is my zorin os 16 and i'll be taking it as my linux distribution number one open source well zorin os 16 and any linux distribution out there is open source mean the code of any operating system which is based on linux is available to everyone and because of that we have more power over the linux distribution and its operating system so as compared to windows 11 linux distributions are winner in this regard because just like window have all the power or you can say microsoft has all the power in terms of making decision but that is not the case with the linux distribution and as it is open source we can make different applications for our use particularly and that's a really good thing so in terms of open source linux distributions are winner in this regard number two gaming well we have different games available in Zorin OS 16. Let me open my software center here. Here it is. I will just click on it. And in here, we have different games available by default. But I'm not talking about those games which are already available. I'm talking about games which are available on Steam. Well, only 14% of games which are available on Steam are compatible with Linux distribution. So it means we have limited choice in terms of gaming experience when it comes to Linux distribution and we have to rely or you can say we have to use Windows 11 for our gaming experience. So in terms of gaming we can see that Windows 11 is a clear winner here. Number three 
free operating system. Well, just like Windows 11, every Linux distribution is free of cost. It means you can go to the official website of any Linux distribution and you can download it for free. As I'm using the Zorin OS 16, it is freely available onto the official website. You can download any version of Zorin operating system and it will not cost you a single penny. So that's a really good thing. And if we compare it with Windows 11, I would say that both are on equal level. Number four, free apps. Well, this is my software repository. And in here, we have different applications available for free. As you can see, all of them are available and I can download and I can start using them for free. But if you compare it with Windows 11, yes, we have some applications available in Linux distribution, but Windows 11 have more applications which are free to use because we have Microsoft Store in Windows 11. And along with that, we have different web stores or you can say different software websites which offers free of cost Windows application. That is not the case with Linux distribution. Yes, we do have a lot of applications available and majority of them are free. But if we compare the number of applications, Linux distribution have limited number of applications as compared to Windows 11. Because in Linux distribution, we have a number of distributions like we have Zorin OS 16, we have Ubuntu, we have Manjaro, we have Pop OS, we have Fedora, and we have a lot more distribution based on Linux. And in every Linux distribution, we have different kind of applications available. As you can see here, we have different categories down here as well. So what you can do, you can go to any particular directory or category and you can download a particular one. So in terms of free apps, Windows 11 is a winner here. Number five, compatibility. Well, as we know, and as we have talked about that Windows 11 is only supported and is only compatible with those system having TPM 2.0 but that is not the case with Linux distribution. There are some particular Linux distribution which are available and you can use them for free onto your older laptops as well. It means even if you have a laptop with two gigabytes of RAM and with some 20 or 30 or even 40 gigabytes of hard drive, you still can download and install a particular Linux distribution to use it. But that is not the case with Windows 11. You have to have TPM 2.0 and you have to have some latest laptops or computer to use Windows 11. So in terms of compatibility, Linux distributions are a clear winner here. Number six, virus and malware support. Well, let me search for firewall in my Zorin OS 16. Here you can see I have firewall here. I will just click on it. So as I have just talked to you about Windows 11, that we have Windows Defender in Windows 11 and that's a really good and powerful tool. But again, if we compare it with the firewall available in the Linux distribution, just like I have opened one in front of you in my Zorin OS 16, this one is a more powerful than the one in Windows 11. One reason is it is more sophisticated than Windows Defender. And second thing is Linux distribution get less number of virus and attack onto their distribution because only 14 or 13 percent of market is covered by Linux distribution. And because of that, malware authors and developers do not put their emphasis towards the Linux distribution. And even if there is some virus or even if there is some malware attack, the firewall which is available in Linux distribution by default is strong enough to work against them. So in terms of virus and malware support, I would say that Linux distributions are way ahead than Windows 11. Number seven, stability. Well, as I have mentioned and I have talked in detail that Windows 10 is still supported from Microsoft till 2025. but in Linux distribution, we get two types of release. One is rolling release and the second one is LTS. In LTS, we get almost five years of support. But if we talk about in terms of the stability of the system, in Linux distribution, nothing will break down until and unless you break something yourself or something get broken by accident. That is not the case with Windows 11 or any operating system of Microsoft. 
because as long as a windows operating system gets older it starts to lag in its performance and with the time being we get more problem in windows operating system but that is not the case with linux distribution because linux distributions are more stable than windows operating system so i would say that linux distributions are a winner here number 8 usability and user interface well this is a bit different point than windows 11 because in linux distribution as i have mentioned that we have a number of linux distributions available and with each linux distribution we get a different kind of user interface as you can see here we have zorin os and everything is docked at the bottom but if we were using ubuntu everything would have on the left side of our screen in a vertical manner so that is a problem or you can say that is a point which makes a difference between windows operating system and linux distribution and in linux distribution we get different kind of user interfaces with different kind of linux based distribution and now if we talk about the user interface the user interface is really good and really easy to use as you can see here we have almost same type of user interface just like the windows one we have same categories desktop documents and download and we almost have the same icons here and not only that the color combination of foreground and background is a really good one well i am talking about the zorin os 16 at the moment There are some Linux distributions which have not a really good user interface and they are not as much as easy to use. So yes, there are some Linux distribution which are really easy to use and there are some which are not so much easy. If I talk about the usability, those who work on Linux distribution use the terminal most of the time and with the help of terminal they perform majority of their tasks. So if you are a newbie and you are going to use a Linux distribution for the first time, I would suggest you to learn that how you can use Linux distribution because it is not as easy as it seems and majority of the people who shift to Linux distribution comes from Mac or Windows operating system and Linux distribution do not work in that way in Linux distribution we have to work a lot on terminal so I would suggest you to search and work on your Linux distribution skills and then shift towards any other Linux distribution if you are migrating from windows or mac operating system and with that we got to the end of today's video so i would conclude that if you are looking for gaming experience usability support and smooth user interface i would suggest you to go with windows 11 but if you are a professional one who prefer to have more privacy and more security and along with more stability then i would suggest you to go with linux distribution because linux distributions are more powerful stable and offer you more security than windows 11 and if you want to have more control onto your operating system then linux distributions are one for you because as i have mentioned it is open source and it offers you more power and control over the operating system and i hope that you must have learned a lot of new things about both type of operating system and if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care